My name is Grant Walters, and this is Brandon Sutherland. We are PhD students in the Ted Sargent Group at the University of Toronto. Recently, we published a paper in ACS Nano titled Two Photon Absorption in Organometallic Bromide Perovskites. We did this work in collaboration with the Professor Osman Backer Group at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. So in our paper, we worked with single crystal methylmonium lead bromide perovskites. So that's a nice zoom in of it right there. So what are perovskites? Well, traditionally, semiconductor devices are made with silicon or gallium arsenide, and these materials are grown under high temperature and often ultra high vacuum processes. So these perovskites are a new type of semiconductor material, which is grown from the solution phase. These materials have applications in mass manufacturable cheap optoelectronic devices. We sought to use them for applications in nonlinear optics, specifically for ones that use two photon absorption. So, Grant, what is two photon absorption? Well, Brandon, two photon absorption is a nonlinear optical effect that occurs under intense laser irradiation. It occurs when two photons are simultaneously absorbed by the material. These photons each have energy less than the band gap of the material. So to measure two photon absorption, we need an ultra high intensity light source. So to do that, we're gonna use a laser. And before we ever turn any laser on ever, we always need something, and that's laser goggles. So I'm gonna put on my laser goggles here. If I did it, my eyes can be severely damaged through laser radiation. And it's always very, very important to have laser goggles on at all times whenever a laser is on and operating inside a lab. So now our laser's on, I have my laser goggles on, and I'm all safe to work with it. We're gonna actually go about demonstrating two photon absorption in these perovskites. So typically semiconductors can only absorb light when the incoming photons are of energy greater than or equal to its band gap. Uh, here we're gonna show that with two photon absorption, we can illuminate it with sub-band gap light, but our material will still absorb these lights and then luminesce them with a nice green color. Here you can see our crystal being illuminated by 800 nanometer wavelength radiation and you can clearly see it is emitting green 570 nanometer light due to two photon absorption. So in Grant and I's paper, we go about measuring and quantifying two photon absorption in these perovskites. And we also use it to an application, or we use it to measure the pulse width of our ultra fast laser down to 100 femtoseconds. So if you're interested in that work, go check it out online at ACS Nano.